Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbub333, and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4, the newer to the last days of Europe as the West Russian Republic. Now, last video, um, we went to war for West Siberian Republic. We caught him, this nasty little encirclement over here, and took him out. Um, I wonder if the meta's gonna be not even take these areas over, just let them circle troops and then circle. That might be the meta I go with from here on out. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, what ends up ha uh, we also are pushing more into the uh, Republic proper at this point. That's going along decently well. I'm pretty proud of how that's going along, even. Anywho, um, let's go ahead and put some more stuff into that for now. And um, we'll hold off. Swapping over the anti-air. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty well, I gotta say. Um, I was a little worried, honestly. Um, might be starting to stagnate a wee bit, especially up here, but... Not even that, I think. I think we're still doing very well. I wonder if we're even going to need to uh, push out fully. Or if uh, we'll just be okay. And we don't even have to take Olmps. Although taking Olmps would be just... Uh, probably would uh, wrap it up a nice little bow. I wonder if we might just be able to take Tuman and that'd be okay. Tuman, maybe an Ashim to follow. Your bits. Have we taken Verkuta yet? We've not taken Verkuta quite yet. Also, we've taken Verkuta and Tuman. That might be enough. Caption London's body. Ooh, 99%. You, soldier, you, you just you take a Sheem. That's all you need to do. None of the bloodshed now. Captured the gulags. I get working on new industry and construction, so let's do that. And there we go. Beautiful. Not cross for Urals, but that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... There we are, the Russian Republic. I, I could swear I know this from somewhere. I don't know where, though. Anyway, our max credit rate... Uh, rating rise, I guess. Um, can now go to credit rating B. It looks like. Which I'll take. That's nice. Anyway, um, here we are with the Great Uniter. Every century, so oh, the Russian nation proceed produces a political genius, an even rarer interval than that Russia. Births a unifier, a leader can embody and guard the values of Melloran at its time of greatest needs. For every time of troubles, an Ivan the Great, for every Napoleon a Catherine. The time of the unifier is again at hand. And his harbinger is Igor Shafarvik. Shafarvik will build his nation neither on the false pietisms of fascists nor the moral degradation of the leftists. Russia will be shaped by what has always made it great, the purity of its soil, and the refined disposition of its people. Only a moral Russia can be strong Russia, and only a strong Russia can be great. We will find the will to cast those parasites who impede us in this mission. And God help us, when the freedom shines once more upon the Rodina, it will be a true and lasting one. Excellent. We got dockyards, even. Um, we'll start working on a bit of convoys. Yeah, they got one for building in... Or Kuta. I think that's funny. 
I find that very funny, personally. Anyway, um, what do we have here? We got a couple different. I'm digging the music. I really am. An end to wonders. On to an uncertain future. Um, got about 60 days to core all of this up. It's not too bad, actually, honestly. You will do the front line. Come here to there. Um, looks like Tom, uh, no, uh, not Tom, Scum. Kimarovo's winning. Which that's fine. We're gonna get, get a bit of time to, uh, get a bit of time and yet, uh, to, uh, catch up and beat him. Uh, consolidate our power. Usually, uh, Kimarovo is a bit of a pain to fight, in my experience. The scene was familiar to Shvarvik. Once again, he was in his study, a candle by his side. The weak light illuminated his work, the schematics for a road, again. Chalk dust caked his hands, and he looked at his watch, almost dawn. <sighs> Yet this work cannot wait. There was no longer fetters in his progress. No more Suslov, no, no more Stalina, no more funny clock man, and sadly, no more Gumilov. He missed them. Enemies they were, and adversaries, yet they almost seemed to be a callback to easier times, when he was just a mathematician with tenure at Ussisolsk University. It was, again, a road. Street plans, points of illumination, specifications of material. As President of the Republic, his work had come to take entire days to finish. It's rare that he got a chance to work on an independent project of his. The roads were uncluttered, clear, ways of transport that ferried pedestrians to their places safe and quick. He stepped back and clapped his hands together, dispersing clouds of white over his uniform. Shvarvik could have sent for a servant downstairs to fetch him a basin of water, but he liked it that way. The ca can wa wash his shirt and trousers. They can wash his shirt and trousers later. That's what that was meant to say. The sun rose on the horizon, and the work significance became clearer and clearer, reordering the streets of Ustasolsk, a project that would entail the destruction and reconstruction of the city. He laughed. He was proud even his work was pointless. Shvarvik had all the power to enforce his will, but he would not. Democracy was a useful tool, and he would like to maintain it. Now, to more important matters. Uh, we're going to go ahead, swap out, get some more advanced anti air. Um, what do. We want. Let's do a uh, national self sufficiency. In times of czars, it was accused. In the time of czars, Russia was accused of rapaciousness, even robbery, and its treatment of a nation under its wing. It was said that the government favored the death of ten indigenous residents to the impoverishment impo of a single Russian. Those years are long gone now, and the empire is a fading memory, but the problem that the czars face has been handed over to us. What approach? <coughs> what approach shall we take to preserve our na national lessons, while remaining faithful stewards of the people God has granted us dominion over? Shvarik believes he has a solution, an approach he calls self-sufficiency, when the non-Russian national communists shall see neither incorporation nor exploitation. Instead, the Russian nation shall be focused on enriching its people. The minorities within it can go their own way. They will be blessedly, truly free of the hands of a state now and forever. Interesting idea. Um, oh, I got a division template uh, from uh, the year of my mine. 
gentleman by the name of Top Mac. If you're him, you, you know who you are. Um, you might know him, you might not even. And uh, I figured I'd uh, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I think it's just a 40 width. Is just a 40 width? A 36 width. Um, seems interesting enough, and I, I figured I'll give it a shot. Why not? So we'll go ahead, edit. That's not the one we want. Get the fuck out of here. So infantry. Infantry. Swap that out with artillery. Get another unit of artillery. Inf. 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 Let's give it a shot. We'll scrap these guys. How much do we need to pick up? Always forget production. We're actually okay rifle wise, but we're gonna need a lot more in the way of anti air. Although, when have we not needed more anti air? <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll go for it. We'll wait a little before we decide that, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and do national democracy. We are the party of the masses, but if we do not uphold the voice of the Russian people, we are no better than the petty tyrants who claim the same title. We are fashioned from this rough clay a new and lasting democracy, one that encompasses the breadth of our domain and its peoples, and with every careful potter, we shall take care to dispose of any excesses or spoiled materials before our work is complete. Let's shoot the new democratic campaigns across the rural network, calling for mass political participation and voting rallies. But our bureaucracy will take the greatest pains and ensure that external elements, the old enemies of Russia, will not infiltrate this expression of our greatest values. Glory to Russia. May our freedom stand forever untainted. Radical. Ow! Taking the music that just kicked in. Oh. Open market. There we go. Is this, uh... Yeah, official soundtrack stuff. I like it. And then... In Ustasolk's legislature chambers, Shvark stood up on the podium, addressing newly elected deputies with a ga that gathered before him, fresh face enthusiastic faces of new born Russia. Gentlemen, I may have your attention. All eyes soon became focused on him. Today we gather in celebration of our democratic ideas against the nations that conspire to divide us from solitary to one solidarity to one another. Great were their efforts, but today we have broken their hold on us. We, the great Russian nation, have broken the shackles placed upon us by the time of our ancestors, fulfilling our destiny. <clears throat> I admit that is rather, rather queer for a mathematician to speak of destinies. Romantic notions are not part and parcel of my work. Those kinds of thinkings I will leave to others. For much of my career, I've been a theoretician, a scientist. Today I stand before you as an architect and also an engineer. You, the deputies of his new, renewed legislature, are my partners in our work. Russia has chosen you. Each of the deputies in the chamber, Russia has elected a servant and spouse. Do not fail the nation's trust in us. That is all. A chorus of probation met wake. A new Russian democracy is here. Um, let's do a generation of thinkers. Russia is a field. This field is watered infrequently, and occasionally parts of it burn down at the behest of others. But the result is a stronger, more beautiful harvest. 
This is also true for Russia's vast landscape of intellectual talent. For every difficulty the peasantry has faced, they have overcome it with fine line colors. This, then, is our goal. To find the strongest and best flowers in our garden, nurture them into brilliant life, and set them loose to transform the world around them. We'll overhaul our recruitment structure in both party and government, setting the absolute highest standards of education and training, and when we are done, our nation will be led by the cream of the Russian crop, the beautiful, the brave, the sensitive, and strong. They say the Superman will emerge from Berlin, but a rebuttal will be crafted here in Russia. Oh, well, there we go. We got, got a free repair. Working on these, which is nice to see. Um, we have some already some decent uh, construction going on, or buildings built up around here, which is nice to see. We have a generation of thinkers. We'll go ahead and do. Spiritual hegemony. Long have we dealt with the people of the Western Siberian despotants, and long have we waited their return to the fold. Shvarvik is convinced that an approach of generosity and benevolence is what will work best for the good of a nation as a whole. At all possible times, we will forestall the use of violence and attempt to reinforce our common interest. There is much to be gained by accepting our rulership, and at the end of the day, we are all Russians. However, should they refuse, special measures left we taken to make sure these wayward children see sense. Look how the music gets all ominous after we said special measures. That, that couldn't have lined up better. Well, maybe it could have, but it worked out pretty well. The infrastructure here is kind of eh, isn't it? That'll be okay, I think, but... Okay, so we can get up to acceptable credit ratings. We just, uh... Um... All hike taxes. If I can't lower a bit of a social spending... There we go. Um, let's do the counter Russophobic campaign. In recent days, some have spoken of those with a sinister vision for Russia. They speak of a demon of multiculturalism, where tolerance of those different from us is interchangeable from the ble blending of pure Russian culture with incompatible alien substances. It is utter nonsense to believe such things, of course, but the nonsense is potent nonetheless. If we are to combat this stupidity, we must start from the ground of Russian society, the peasantry. In truth, many Russian realities have an unrealized, nebulous notion of what it means to be Russian. By affirming their God-given sense of what is Russian and what is from the devil, we will reinforce the notion that a half-hearted embrace of minority culture, the loss of a heritage of earth and blood, is Russophobia in its most demonic form. And we, when we have set these people loose upon the cities, we hope the ivory tower elites who speak above their station will learn that lesson too. We'll wait and see, won't we? Ah. <coughs> well, we're doing well stability wise, war support wise. Well, we take a uh, war support from combat casualties. That is interesting. Is that a TNO feature, or was that just? Is that added in a, the uh, Hoi Four patch? I I do not know. Ooh, we have more production units we can use. Oh, we're gonna want to use those then. Let's do twenty twenty.
think that's a decent setup for now. Next, we will promote Russian traditions. The lands under our hegemony, many mansions claim dominion over the Russian art. Some of them are socialist origin, some of them monarchist roots, and some stem from foreign influence. There will be more in the days to come, but if we are to expel these wayward ideas, we must build something of substance in its place. The Russian glory must be on full display for its light to line our people. Nothing less is acceptable. We'll focus on the development of our rituals that tie us to the soil, to the nation. National holidays are the only beginning. Only the beginning of a full-scale revamp of our civic culture. Religious occasions, national commemorations of martyrs, the enforcement of the Russian language and history will ensure that the light of the Rus shines brighter than the darkness. That would put it out. Now that works for me. Infrastructure is okay, though well, it's not very good out here. Um, let's expand that out, and then we'll get more resources if we improve this, so let's do that. The rest of the songs are coming up along okay. Um, I could use some more stuff there. Get some more resources. Bella ciao. Bella ciao. Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. I don't know what exactly Albania thought. I think the African rebellions probably have a better luck, better shot there. Let's do the political conscious army. Glory is in the Russian blood. Our people were made for greatness, and the army is the distillation of the finest traditions of our people. Honor, courage, integrity, patriotism. These alleys thrive everywhere, but they blossom in view only in the men who have selflessly volunteered for the greatest of all possible lives. What better way to ensure that the spirit of our national revival never dies out than to build it into the army? Regular political re-education lessons, the stacking of leadership positions with firm loyalists dedicated to the passionary ideals, an emphasis on royal strength will keep the army forever loyal to our ideals and our vision for the nation. Quiet amendments to our constitution will also ensure that should our leadership ever come to question, soldiers know exactly where their interests lie. Clever. Sneaky. Still just companies. And then some reactors, why not? You guys don't have a picture? But that guy has a picture. I know that guy. Well, I feel better already. I don't. I still feel sick. But... There we go. It was about time that happened. I think. Developed healthcare. That's good. That's good. Next, we'll do from she, some from she, from sea to shining sea. This then is a dream, nothing more, nothing less than the bringing to wholeness of Holy Russia. Even as the Union fellies and the barbarities consume so much of Russian life and culture, we held on to this dream. The time has come when we shall bring it into being. So when our army, so with our army ready to roll, the false, culturny ideas that pollute Russia all the way back to Germania. Let us be fearless. There's a home for us, a place where the people, most precious of God, shall have a rest. That place is the heart of the Father in heaven, and the Holy Mother, Rus, on earth. That works. Hell. 
<sighs> yeah, it was a nice try, guys, but uh, didn't work out, did it? Especially when the Italians have cores on all the actual not desert good territory. You kind of need to uh, sustain an economy or agriculture. Yes, I don't know what's going on in the uh, interior over here. There could be some oasises. Get the odd date here and there to sustain yourself. You know, I think this is around around where they uh, where they filmed uh, Star Wars. Oh, they went revolutionary front. That's interesting. Well, for their sake, I hope they don't do this one. Because that will uh, get them kicked out. Let's do... Uh, <clears throat> Let's do the Election Security Act. There's something to be said about dedication to the rural democracy. There's also something said about the vulnerability of said democracy to infiltration by unsavory elements. Words, however, are easy. We must set our minds to action. Preserve the voice of the Rodina. It's the most honest and direct form. Rooting out every straight voice that does not truly have a mellow and at heart. The security acts being drafted being draft will go a long way towards our goals in both directions. Formal agencies will be directed to reorganize our election structures from the bottom up, accountable to the highest legislative bodies on the land. For those who are deemed suspicious in the background, well, yes, democracy is vital and a fragile instrument, yes? We cannot afford to take chances. Of course not. Of course not. China modernizes? Okay. Good for China. Let's see. Looks like Germany only really got uh, Hungary and... Serbia actually got Tito. Which is interesting. I do like to see that. Timer did go off, but I'll get I'll uh get to the last little oh, there we go. Speak for devil. <clears throat> Aaron Feigenbaum glanced at the clock as he sent the reception all of the voter registration bureau. It had been over an hour since it was first told to apply for a form, and everyone else in the room no, time already gone. He was wondering if he should just wait for another day. The woman on the desk called out his name. Mr. Feigenbaum, you need to go office B35 on the second floor to get the form? Correct, sir. Then you need to submit to office E22 and apply for a copy of the form to send to the Bureau Registrar at Office A05 before sending it to Office H18. Understand? Feigenbaum committed the instructions for navigating the bureaucratic labyrinth of memory and nodded. After what felt like half an hour trying to navigate the identical-looking offices to find Office B35, Feigenbaum sat at that office reception. He didn't even bother to keep track of the time after that when another receptionist called his name. He asked for a form when she shook her head. I'm sorry, the receptionist downstairs made a mistake. You need a copy of Born 2834R before I can give you the registration. You get it back from office each 48, three floors up and down to the right. I'm sorry if it sounds complex, but due to recent incidents of past voter fraud, we need to keep thorough records of every potential voter. Feigenbaum's mouth dropped as he exited the room. Failing to notice what office each 48 was labeled on the building map that he stomped past in frustration. Small national voter pre-registration application. Well, um, that's a little unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, sad that we have to land on that note, but that's what we're doing. So, thanks for watching, gang. Like if you like, dislike if you didn't. Leaving comments or anything of the sort down in the comment section below. Um, check out the various links in the description box. If you have any comments, feedback, or anything of that sort, go and leave a comment. Uh, 
section. I read all of them that I get and appreciate any of you kind of have for me. That's really it for now. I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.